Bronze leaf disease is caused by a fungal pathogen called Apioplagia stoma populi. It affects Swedish columnar aspen, tower poplar, and poplar hybrid clones. Symptoms of bronze leaf disease may appear on any part of the plant. The most characteristic symptom of bronze leaf disease is the leaves turning orange brown to reddish brown, starting from the edges of the leaf, moving inward towards the base of the leaf. A key characteristic is that the main leaf veins and the petiole remains a bright green color. Leaf discoloration may deepen to a bronzy reddish brown color as the season progresses. Infected leaves will often remain attached to the tree over the course of the winter and will look a bit brown. Infected branches may die back as the disease progresses systemically within the plant. Leaves that overwinter will often have a pebbly surface texture that resembles a little bit like the surface of a curling rink, and this reflects the development of the spore producing structures in the leaf. Bronze leaf disease is spread through this release of spores from mature spore producing bodies on leaves. This occurs in, with rain and in warm to moderate temperatures. Spores are spread in spring to infect other parts of the tree as well as other adjacent trees. The disease also spreads systemically within the plant, so it may move from an infection point in the leaves through the rest of the plant into the trunk. Bronze leaf disease is best managed culturally, and this involves sanitation by removing and destroying fallen leaves, pruning off any infected branches back to healthy wood. It's also important in managing bronze leaf disease to avoid planting tree species too close together, as having a good separation will allow airflow and reduce leaf disease accumulation. While bronze leaf disease can be found in a number of areas of Alberta, there are a number of lookalikes that may make you think of bronze leaf disease. The new growth of Swedish columnar aspens often has a reddish color, but this will diminish over time. Dry or overly wet conditions or other conditions causing stress on the Swedish columnar aspens can result in the development of a reddish color in the leaves. Branches that are cut, broken, or damaged towards the base may turn brown or reddish brown due to the severing of the vascular tissues. In the end, the key to managing bronze leaf disease is early detection and removal through pruning and cleaning up the plants.